Hey guys, how you doing? It's Boston McManus here, and I am doing a video today on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P laptop. This is a laptop I have used in all of my videos you have seen on YouTube so far of me gaming. This laptop is a great laptop. I absolutely love it to death. Here it is on Newegg. This is where I got it from. Free shipping, great price, $879.99, originally $1,000 even. As you can see is the Intel Core i5-4200M, which for me personally is better than the i7. The i5 runs a lot cooler. It runs, it, to me personally, it just runs better than the i7. The i7 may be more efficient and it may have more cores and it may have more speed, but the i5 is definitely less heat and less power and more efficiency. So it runs games perfectly compared to the i7 you will hardly see any improvement on the i7 whatsoever. Barely, maybe a 5-10% to 10 increase on gaming with the i7. It came with 6GB of RAM, a 1TB slash 8GB solid state hard drive. It's a hybrid drive, so it's a 1TB hard drive, a spinning disk, 8GB solid state for caching with the hard drive to speed it up a little bit. It's a 5400 RPM drive, so I was not very satisfied with that comes with two NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M graphics cards. One of them is on board, the other one is in the Ultra Bay drive, which I will talk about more in a minute. It is 1920 by 1080 Windows 8.1. Uh, I love this laptop to death. Uh, it is perfect for what I need it for. It is a great gaming PC. It is definitely worth the money. Um, as far as the i7 version goes, here you go, you see it right here, it's for $1,000. As you can see, it's not very popular. If I were you, I would save the money and get a solid state hard drive like I did. This is a solid state drive I got. I ordered this at the same time as my laptop. It is 360 gigabytes SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second hard drive. As you can see there, 555 megabits per second read, 530 megabits per second write. Extremely fast, no moving parts, so I can drop this laptop and not have to worry about corrupted uh, data or a not working laptop anymore because the moving parts are broken. I ordered this RAM as well, came with 6 gigabytes DDR3, 1600 megabytes RAM, or megahertz RAM, I apologize. So I ordered this kit right here. It looks exactly like this when you get it in the packaging. You can see right there, that's exactly what it's like. Low voltage, less power consumption, but they are still absolutely amazing RAM modules. Very fast, very power efficient, and of course, G-Skill Rip Jaws. Very good RAM, very popular. 5 out of 5 on Newegg. Um, this RAM I ordered along with my laptop, same time as my SSD. I installed both of these products, this SSD and the RAM, before I even turn the laptop on because I knew that I would not be as satisfied with this laptop if I did not have these improvements to it. Uh, just for proof and validation purposes, this is my laptop right here submitted by me. This is my laptop's name. As you can see, I did it today, the date of this recording, at 3.57 p.m. It is now 8.58 p.m. So it took me a little while to start recording this video. I wanted to get set up and everything. As you can see, Intel Core i5-4200M, two cores. The computer views it as four, log or four virtual cores, though, so that's great. Hyper-threading is awesome. Uh, RAM right here, as you can see, installed 16 gigabytes of RAM, a little over 16 gigabytes, so that's pretty cool because Windows views one gigabyte as 1,024 megabytes instead of just 1,000 like manufacturers do. Great timings, which is what you can expect from G-Skill, as you can see the evidence right there, DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM. Uh, two different graphics cards, as we talked about earlier, the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M in both slots, two gigabytes of RAM each. Now, with the Ultra Bay that I mentioned with this GPU number two, with this graphics card that's in the Ultra Bay, with the Ultra Bay, it is hot swappable. You can use the GT 750M graphics card, which I'm doing right now. You can use a little like hard drive caddy to have another hard drive in here, so you can have two hard drives built in. For me, that's not an issue. I have two one terabyte drives that I use as external. 
So you can use that or you can use a CD drive. This does not come with a CD drive, but it is no longer necessary on modern computers. You can download everything you need online, and if you need to install Windows to a fresh hard drive like I had to do on this, make a Windows USB bootable flash drive. It is extremely easy. There's tons of videos online. I will even post one up if you guys would like me to on how to make a USB bootable device to install Windows uh, brand new fresh from the USB drive. And also you can install a little cooling fan in that Ultra Bay as well. So there's a couple different options you can use. Me, I prefer to stick with the second graphics card because I like the game. I like a lot of gaming power. So that's what I love to do. Um, over here you can see that this is a SSD, this is a one terabyte hard drive. Let's go ahead and minimize this. In the one terabyte hard drive, this is all my videos. As you can see, the final gameplay edits, music for my videos, and the raw gameplay of stuff I've recorded for you guys. Now this is a World of Warcraft video. It is 5.56 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and transfer it to the hard drive and see what kind of speeds we get. So you can see right there, it jumped up really fast. Right now it's getting about 200 or so megabits per second write speed to the internal hard drive. So that is extremely fast. It finished this in about 20 seconds or so, less than 30 seconds. So that was extremely fast. Let's go ahead and delete that file off the hard drive now, empty it from the recycle bin. So now it's on the desktop. We are going from the desktop back to the hard drive. Let's see the kind of speeds we get there. So as you can see, a little bit slower speeds, but it is still incredibly fast, way faster than a regular hard drive could ever imagine. Uh, USB 3.0 definitely helps a lot. It is a six gigabit per second hard drive in the external. Like I said, this is a one terabyte uh, hard drive that I ordered. So this is not the internal stock one terabyte hard drive that came with this laptop. This is actually a different hard drive that I ordered from Newegg. I can't remember. I think it's a Hitachi, but it's one terabyte, 7200 RPM. So as you can tell, it is extremely fast running off of USB 3.0. Guys, SSD is the way to go. Save yourself the money. Do not buy the i7. Buy the i5 and save that money and get a solid state hard drive and some more RAM if you can afford it. It is definitely worth it. So, yeah. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys. This right here in the bottom left is the Windows Classic Start menu. Uh, I order, I got it. Sorry, did not order it. I got it for free off of a site called Ninite. N-I-N-I-T-E dot com. You go here. This is what I use to install. This is the first thing I went to when I freshly installed Windows 8 on my solid state hard drive. As you can tell, you can check off programs that you want to install brand new fresh on a computer. The great thing about it is, number one, it installs all these programs at the same time for you. Downloads all of it and installs all of it for you. And number two, it does not install any of the bloatware that these programs typically come with. It installs clean versions, none of that browser, internet browser, BS add-ons that typically come with a lot of the software. Um, and number three, it comes with Classic Start right down here. Classic Start enables you to add this button right down here, and it has a start menu just like the old Windows programs that you guys are used to. I know there's a lot of you out there who hate the new Windows 8, how it goes to the stupid little tile mode just like this you know a lot of you hate that because this is not easy to navigate it's annoying you don't like it so for me personally going to ninenight.com right there and downloading that was absolutely no question of the matter and getting all this stuff on your computer without any bloatware quick like that definitely helps so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will be doing a video of a actual of the of the laptop itself, I'll doing I'll be doing a teardown. I'll show you how to install RAM, show you how to um, install an SSD, and I'll show you how to uninstall the Wi-Fi card in this because I know there's been some issues with people with a bad Wi-Fi card or with the Wi-Fi card not working very well with within Windows. So I know people like to replace it, but let me give you a little word of advice: if you're having that issue uninstall the Intel Wi-Fi card drivers. Just let Windows take control of the Wi-Fi card and it runs perfectly fine. That's what I did. As you can tell, no Intel drivers are down here whatsoever. 
So do that and it will work perfectly fine. But I will show an unboxing video get video of this laptop if you guys would like. I will go through the process of putting it back in the box and everything. I still have all the stuff for it. So I'll put it back in the box for you and unpack it and everything so you guys can see. Because I know that's what you guys like to see is unboxing videos. So I will do all of that if you would like me to. Uh, like I said, I will do a USB bootable, bootable drive uh, video if you would like me to show you guys how to do that. Um, just go ahead and shoot out ideas. Shoot out more ideas of gameplay videos you would like me to get uh, play because I have some games on here. I have League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Bioshock, you know, all these games. So give me an idea of some gameplay videos you would like to see, some unboxing videos, some how-to videos, anything you want to see. Let me know and I can help you guys out and post those videos online for you. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway here shortly. Please, guys, throw some ideas at me of some giveaways that are reasonable that you would like to see because this giveaway will be coming out of my own pocket. So make it a reasonable idea. So shoot me some ideas. Let me see what you guys would like to you know, receive as my viewers, as my subscribers. So once again, I thank you guys. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe with ideas, anything else you guys would like to see.